Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Uh, tonight I was just going to do a little quick video on um, hull effects. I made a nice little circuit here. As you can see, it says a little LED light on it when it gets triggered. So this is it's a typical MOSFET circuit. We have um, the output diode going into the cap dump and then to the second battery, primary battery. So this is the same motor I've done um, quite a few videos on. So I just thought this would be some interesting, different to do um, instead of the optical timing like what's on this one. You know, not everybody can make some of this stuff. Uh, if you have a 3D printer, you can make them pretty easy, but um, this is just a simple way to kind of get going on something to try um, without taking a lot of time for timing. So um, I have this available on my website um, in case anybody's interested. But um, so... On the circuit, I have a little switch right here, and you could override this uh, pulse width modulator if you just want full power or not want to mess with this whole thing. Um, but it is nice using this to where you, when you're trying things, you could have it dimmed down to where things don't get too out of control. So um, I have this at about 30% eh, right now. So what we're gonna do is just give this a little spin, and then we could line this up right here. And um, there's a little LED, which is kind of neat, so you can see that it's getting triggered, but yeah, I mean, that's it. The circuit is basically like turnkey. All you have to do is just have a magnet on the rotor with some coils, and, you know, you could mount this with some screws or tape it on for experiments, and it uh, works quite nice. See the output kind of ticking. We're using, you know, almost a third of an amp at 12 volts. And um, yeah, if you want to override the speed control, you just hit the switch, and then now we really have some have some power. So now we're using three and a half amps. So you can see the kind of you can hear the tones as you're adjusting the speed and the timing. So you get a lot more RPM out of it just by a little bit of movement. So if you go too far, you're gonna, you know, reverse the direction. It's not too good, so <laughs> you have to be careful how much you move it. Yeah, pretty neat. A little simple device to get things running in a hurry, you know. Instead of cutting out uh, optical timing and all that stuff, so the circuit makes it really nice. Anyway. Thought you guys might be interested in that, so thank you for watching.